So in this video, we're going to look at the different positions that you would be expected to shoot from whilst undertaking the shooting assessment for the DSC-1. Here we have a shooter in what is for him um, a very comfortable position. We can see that he's got good, good body contact with the ground. His legs are slightly splayed out, which is comfortable for him. He's at an angle to the line of shot so that the rifle fits nicely into his body without his body straining in any way. Um, he's got the rifle on a, on a bipod, adjusted to the appropriate height. He's got the butt of the rifle pulled into the groove in our shoulder, which God gave us, or your God gave you, depending on who your God might be, yeah, to put a rifle in. That's what that groove is for. So he's, he's got the rifle in the groove on his, on his shoulder, He's gripping the pistol grip and his finger is just about to caress the trigger with the ball of his finger. If we look at his sighting position, his cheek has got good contact with the stock and it will always come on the stock in the same position every time. And the scope will be adjusted so that when he's got that good cheek position, he's got a full image through the scope. The scope being approximately three and a half to four inches, four inches from his eye and his head is um, ad adjusted so that he's got a full image, there isn't any shading above or to the side uh, of, of the picture. The rifle is upright without any cant. If he cants the rifle, that is he, he, he moves it um, from the upright position, that will affect the fall of shot, um, particularly at, at, at some distance. So we always aim to have the rifle upright. If the rifle doesn't rest naturally on the target, it's necessary to adjust the position of the body or even just a leg um, so that, uh, and that's the, the, the shooter's leg as opposed to the leg on the boy pot, um, so that the, the, the rifle does appear, does rest naturally on the target without exerting any sideways stresses or any other stresses on, on the rifle. And here we can see the position of the, the left hand under the stock in order for to lift the rifle a little or to control the height of the rifle. Another way would be to inch the stomach forward a little bit or back a little bit. As you inch forward you'll find that the muzzle of the rifle will drop and as you inch back you'll find that the muzzle of the rifle will rise. And again if you move your body slightly from one side um, to the other the rifle will naturally move in the opposite direction. When the shooter is happy that the rifle is resting perfectly on the target he will consider his breathing. He will probably choose to fire, and this is a personal thing, to fire at the point at which the diaphragm and the lungs are naturally relaxed. So he'll breathe in, you'll breathe out, you'll breathe in, and you'll breathe out to the point at which the lungs are naturally relaxed. And at that point, he's got just a few seconds when his eyesight will be very acute that he can take the shot in um, before the oxygen levels in his, um, in, his, in his system starts to drop a little bit and that will affect the, um, uh, his ability to take a good shot. So here we're looking at uh, a sitting position. Um, it's a position which again the individual shooter chooses and it's got to be chosen on the basis of how comfortable he is um, or how successful he finds that he can shoot in particular positions. Um, the shooting position can be modified, the, the legs could be more, more bent, the left arm, sorry, the left knee could come up so that the left elbow sit, sit, sits on it. But the same principles apply as to when we were talking about the prone position. The shooter needs to be comfortable. The rifle needs to come to rest naturally on the target. The shooter needs to know how to adjust that position so that it does sit naturally on the target. The breathing will be done in the same way so that the shooter will take the shot probably when uh, their lungs are in a relaxed mode um, and the shooter will then follow through. That is, as a golfer or a tennis player, um, they, they, they will continue with the movement so they will squeeze the trigger and hold the position whilst the, the round travels up the barrel um, and escapes towards the, the target. Here we have an experienced shooter who has chosen to shoot uh, on this occasion from a kneeling position, and it's a position that he finds works well for him. 
He's got his quad sticks, which have been adjusted for standing, but what he's actually doing here is simply gripping the sticks with his third and fourth fingers, then resting the rifle on his first and second fingers, uh, using the sticks to support the stock of the rifle. We can see that he's got a nice firm position. We can see that his sighting position um, uh, is good and he is able to take uh, a fairly accurate shot in this position. He's experimented over the years with uh, different positions and he finds that this works for him. He's practiced and that is one of the big things about uh, shooting is that we need to test and to practice and to try different positions and find what works for us. So here we've got the candidate taking a standing shot um, as he might uh, for a, a, a DSC-1. The target would be at uh, 40 metres and he's required to put two shots into the killing zone on the target. Um, he can use for any of these uh, exercises any equipment that he might normally take stalking. So here he's using or he's making benefit of a pair of uh, proprietary quad sticks to rest the rifle on. These improve accuracy uh, a great deal, but the same basic um, marksmanship principles ar arise. He must be comfortable in taking the shot. The rifle must come naturally onto the target. So he will adjust his position and the position of the sticks to do that. And then when the rifle does come naturally onto the target, he will um, consider his breathing, his concentration on the sight picture, and then his trigger control to take the shot. When the shooter feels that the position is right, he's comfortable, he's got a good sight picture, his attention will move uh, from the sight picture to the trigger control and he will, using the ball of his finger, gently squeeze that trigger. 